Welcome to our Mass Effect Andromeda playthrough. We're finally here. After much delay, here we are. Um, for those that are unaware of what has been happening, I originally wanted to start this game on May 17th. And when I went to do so, was having internet issues. And we didn't get those internet issues dealt with and fixed until this past Friday. Um, which they came out and they did something. I don't know what they did, but apparently they said they fixed it. And I've been monitoring the speed since Friday and everything's been good. So hopefully we don't drop any frames um, and everything's good. That way I don't have to worry about that and can just relax and focus on the game, which is going to be fun. Um, but there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about real quickly before we jump in. Uh, this is the second time we're doing this, so we're going to do character creation, which I'm going to try to make pretty quick. Um, and just try to make my character quickly because I've already done it. Uh, but it didn't save because we didn't start the game, so GG. So anyways, the internet issues taken care of on Friday. And then for those that watch me on YouTube, um, I have this thing where because now I am a Twitch affiliate... Um, they have this thing in part of the agreement called the live content exclusivity and that means that I cannot post my videos on YouTube until 24 hours after the broadcast. So the Mass Effect Andromeda videos and pretty much anything else that we play on my Twitch channel are going to be pretty much delayed uh, like by like two days maybe um, until they hit on YouTube. So if you're watching this... Just come over to Twitch and uh, just watch the VODs instead because it's going to be a while before I get stuff up. Anyways, that said, let's play some Mass Effect Andromeda. Let's do it. Press space. So we try to make our character on, I think, the 19th of May. And it was going good until, uh, like, the first... 15 minutes of the stream and then the slideshow effect started happening. We we're dropping frames constantly. So some people have already seen the character creation. Um, I'm going to try and go through it pretty quickly um, because we want to customize our character. So we'll see what happens. I have to see if I remember which options I pick for my character, but it's kind of like, eh, whatever. So we'll do this um, character creation as quick as possible, not no 20 minutes like it was last time. And um, and then we'll get started with the game. <sighs> but again, I, I apologize for all those that were looking forward to starting Mass Effect Andromeda earlier. Um, Believe me, I was pretty bummed out that I couldn't stream, and it, it took about almost two weeks in order to get all this stuff fixed. So we're squared away. Uh, we're starting later than we wanted to, but um, but we're here nonetheless. Okay, so we're going to be playing a male character. We're going to change our appearance. Um, I believe it was head uh, six. Yeah, okay. So it was that head, and then we were messing around with stuff. I don't remember which one I picked. Also, the music, like the main menu music and stuff, is pretty low. Um, now, when we start the... When we start the... Um, the cutscenes and all that stuff, the intro... Um, it should even out. It should be pretty loud and stuff. I'll probably have to adjust the volume and stuff once we actually get into game and all that stuff too. Um, but yeah. Right now, it's like pretty low. I don't know why they did that. Alright, so I'm trying to make the character look kind of similar to me. Um, spoiler, the, uh... The hairstyles in this are not very good. There's not a wide selection of stuff. 
So, I don't know. Cheekbone width. Uh, I'm going to say, like, maybe like right there, I guess. Chin. I think chin's fine. I'm not even going to mess with chin. Eyes. Uh, I think the eyes are fine. Mouth. I don't think I mess with the mouth. It looks fine to me. Nose, on the other hand, I don't think my nose is that big. Nose height. Yeah, so I'd like to have my nose way down there. I bet you there's there was a lot of players that just made like weird looking characters. Like the ugliest character that they could make. Nose depth. Oh, like how much it sticks out? Gotcha. My nose sticks out, but not I don't know about that much. Oh yeah, we're hearing the music swell up. Go with like that nose, I guess. The nose width. Yeah. <laughs> that nose. Probably just like an average looking size nose. Nose size. Music swells for a brief time and then that's it. I think that looks fine. Alright, now here's the hairstyles. There's not a lot of good hairstyles. I think we went with that one. Let's just go through them quickly. Kind of terrible looking. Not very cool. Uh, nope. Definitely don't have a fro. That hair looks kind of alright, I guess. Looks very much like a hipster hairstyle, though. Um, nah. My hair's not that bad. I don't have that bad of a hairline. Let's not go with that one. That hair looks kind of all right. I mean, my hair is kind of like that, but it's that's like that almost looks like it's probably like it was cut with a number one or something, or even a zero. I don't know if they go like that. I think we're just gonna go with this hairstyle. This looks kind of all right. We'll go with that. Hair color. Black, please. Oh, yeah. Let's just make blue hair. Uh, this looks black right here. That looks legit. Facial hair type. They don't really have a lot of facial hairs either. Um, they're not very good. I think we went with that one, I think. We're not clean shaven. So we'll go with number eight. And then eye colors. Um, the outer eye. We'll start with the inner first. The inner, for me, is pretty brown-ish. How do I make it brown, though? Can you turn this? Or is this not a thing you can turn? Uh Oh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, here we go. Doesn't really look brown though. No, stay there. What are you doing? There we go. That looks like a brown. Probably like right there. 
Or maybe even a little bit darker. And then the outer... I think it's just black, I think. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Black. Alright, eyes. All that stuff. We want to put some lipstick on, right? Is that what we thought, chat? We're going to put some lipstick on? Ooh, look at that. That looks all psychedelic-y. Nah, we're not doing lipstick. I joke. And then we just need to remove scars. I don't really care for the scars. There are some interesting looking scars, but... Um... I don't think my character would. If my character is pretty young, he hasn't seen, like, battle and stuff yet. I don't think he has scars yet. Maybe in the next game. And the, the tattoos looked kind of bad, too. It just looks like somebody spilt ink all over your face. Like, yeah. Some of these things just look terrible. All right, what are we saying in chat here? I was everyone's Fortnite, I guess. It was pretty good. Uh, I went and saw um, the latest Pirates of the Caribbean movie yesterday, and it was. I thought it was good. A lot, like the the, the reviews on Rotten Tomato were like thirty two percent, but the audience was like seventy six, and I was with the audience on this one. Like, I've seen all the other ones. Yeah, they're not the best movies, but they're pirate movies nonetheless, and this one was pretty good. Fantastic. Um, Assassin Queen says, went to a sleepover over the weekend. Awesome. Hope you had fun. Um, I plan not to watch it because fourth was horrible, but people are saying it's fine. Yeah, I think out of all the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, I think the fourth one was probably probably the worst, if I had to pick one. Because one was pretty good, two was good, three was a continuation with the story between, with the second movie, and you got some closure on that one a little bit. So it's kind of hard to be like, three was the worst. I, I think fourth was. This one, it's taking like, what you loved about 1 and 2, and there you go, that's Pirates 5. So, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. it. Had a lot of action and stuff, which was cool. Uh, anyways. Duh. Alright. I think this is our character. This is our character. Choose training. Um, let me go through this again. We picked biotic the last time, right, chat? When we did this... When we did the false intro to making our character, and then I had to stop because of... Um, internet issues. I think we picked biotic the last time. Security is pretty much like, I guess, the soldier. Biotic is biotic. Technician is tech. Um, leader is leader is like more of a support role, which I don't want to be a support role. Um, scrapper. This is more like the soldier, I guess. The scrapper is the James Vega. Uh, of this. By the way, when when we start the game, we need to like have a like a thing where we see how many minutes it takes before I say something about the Mass Effect trilogy. Something that reminds me of something from it or I just reference to the trilogy. We need like a a timer on that or something. I want to know how quick it's going to be. Um, operative. Yeah, no. I think we're going to go with biotic, I think. I think we're going with biotic. Yep, biotic. Yep. 
I think internet people, or internet people, internet pooped itself before you decided on one. Uh, biotic. Yeah, I think biotic. I don't know if you can change this later on in the game or not, but uh, we'll see. We're gonna go with biotic. And then my name's not Scott. Let's go with that name. Customize twin. I'm not gonna customize the twin. I didn't do that the last time. Or when we tried to start playing this game. Um, and then, yep, that. I don't know what that's for. Just gonna disregard that I saw that. Uh, but yeah. I think that's it. And the difficulty, guys, we're going to be playing on Insanity. This difficulty level is intended for players seeking the ultimate challenge. Well, I'm not really seeking the ultimate challenge, but I'll do it anyway. How many times will we die? I don't know. Hardcore, normal, casual, narrative. No, Insanity, bro. I think your writer is the Tattoo Tan. Can I go back? That's like my mom, dude. My mom said that yesterday. She's like, man, you're like really white. Uh, skin tone. I mean, that looks pale, but okay. All right. Chat says that's what it looks like. There we go, chat. All right, sanity. Assassin Queen says I won the bet. Yeah, I, yeah, you pretty much did. Um, because I I was looking at it like, whenever we finished Mass Effect three, and um, I think we were we said that you could go ten below and ten above, and. I think you said a hundred, which meant that we got ninety. But um, another viewer called that guy. I think he guessed ninety dead on. But I haven't seen him, so it's like, I don't know. But yeah, pretty much, pretty much both of you guys won. Um, and we'll be taking bets for this one, I guess too. Uh, but anyways. Rubbington's lol. I'm in Spain, and I'm white AF. <laughs> I don't go outside very much. I'm an indoor cat, so yeah. Insanity. All right, let's go. I'm sorry for taking time. All right, here we go. It's going to get loud. Um, I'll adjust the volume afterwards, but here we go. It's Mass Effect time. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Citadel? 
In the year 2185, humanity lives in a golden era of interstellar travel. Our discovery of ancient alien ruins on Mars propelled our understanding of science and technology ahead by thousands of years. While many now enjoy the newfound freedom and challenges of exploration in the Milky Way, others look to even more distant stars. For the 100,000 adventurers embarking on this one-way voyage, the future begins in Andromeda. There we go. So this is in 2185. Six hundred and thirty-four years later. This is almost like the year three thousand. Hyperion. Twenty thousand human colonists. Andromeda Galaxy Destination Habitat 7 in Helios Cluster. I'm saying that because I'm sure I'm blocking it. Anyways. easy for 600 years. Ryder, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? I don't want summer. a cup of coffee first? No summer year-round. I already live in that. I hate it. saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Sorry. golden worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving. This doesn't look like a smooth 60. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Tone choice. Tone choices help define writer's personality. Okay, I'll look at that in a moment. Is this the overload? Overload. Oh no, there we go. We're already starting that. Overlord music or remix. Probably not, but maybe. Dan, what's up, man? Just getting started? Yep, just starting, man. Just starting. Uh, okay. Alright, so the heart is emotional. They don't, they don't, first of all, they don't have Renegade Paragon anymore, which I'm kind of excited for to see how this works. So emotional is the heart, logical is the cog wheel, casual is the swirl that makes you look like you're confused. Professional is like this maze looking thing so how do I know what's what makes it sound easy doesn't it that's casual professional Ooh, I can't wait to see how this defines our character easy is no fun that's what we train for even if it isn't we'll be ready I hope so you know something Word came down. The Pathfinder wants you all mission ready within the hour. Look this way. Why the rush? He didn't say. But something's up. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Taparo. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? Uh... Okay, so Asari, 
who's like a doctor, there'd be a scientist too, and there's VI here. Uh, Dan says, character looks like you, man. <laughs> he looks like me with better hair. Uh, Remington says, removed rep, but replaced it with something else. <sighs> Let's see. So I guess this moves the conversation along. This question mark means we ask, we inquire more before making a decision. I think. Let's see. My implant? Uh, I just need a second to get my bearings. What's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection is still alive. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling otherwise? I'm excited, still thawing. Does that have things on it or no? No. Uh, we're gonna say I'm still thawing, because why not? I feel like a 600 year old popsicle. I hope you <laughs> pack more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Uh oh, already? What that? What's happening? It broke free. Just hang on. Engineering, report. Whoa. Gravity cryobay is offline. Press left alt to what? I'm almost inside. Hold on. Oh. Left alt to look. That's a weird button. Hey, what up? I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get- Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Sarah Ryder. He's dead. Okay, I need to mess with the graphics because that doesn't look like 60. What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. All right, let's see. Um, game settings. Video output. Yep, yep, yep. I know we messed with this before, but I don't know if I ever reopen this or not. Overall quality. Extra high. Everything's on high. I just don't know why it doesn't look like it's 60. Probably because I'm streaming and streaming kind of like messes it up a little bit. Da, 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 da. Dan says, sounds kind of like you too. <laughs> Remington says, he kind of does a little. Internet is potato, but don't want to stream from data. Uh... My peasant eye didn't even notice the FPS step. Well, I don't think you will notice it unless it drops below 30 because I only broadcast in 30 FPS. Uh, I only see like 60 FPS and higher on my own monitor when I'm playing it. Because I don't really think a lot of people can really handle like 60 FPS um, videos and stuff like that. I mean, you probably can. But that's going to be like more stress on my CPU and other stuff when I'm streaming. So it might not be the best idea to move it to 60, but I don't know. I've always wanted to try. Um, motion blur is off. Step to fields. I might need to lower it down to medium, but I don't know. 
My graphics card is up to date. I the only thing that I don't have, I have 12 RAM instead of 16, is what this says. But come on, it's not going to be using 16 RAM. Uh, well, I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. As you can see, like the volumes are like all the way up too. Okay. Well, anyways, we'll figure it out. It looks like some 